Peace. Peace. Assalamu alaikum. I woke up this morning, my wife also told me, she said, when you go down and help welcome in the leader, leader of the Libyan revolution, Mr. Muammar Gaddafi, also just remind that in order for this to be the best world for all to exist hereafter and thereafter, we have to look at Africa as being the future of the world. And we gotta stop having Africa being the refrigerator of the world. People going in, picking out, and never replenishing. So we hope that the future of the world is due to a respect to Africa. We welcome Mr. Gaddafi. And also we like to say truly that this is a chance for the world to actually have its head right, be together, get together, by any means necessary in peace, and at the same time, hopefully, don't make the same mistake they made with Prime Minister Castro. So this is a chance to welcome in the brother. We at Public Enemy, being brief, we'd like to say thank you, and in the music, making sure it's strong for the people, and that's what it's about. We'd like to thank the Nation of Islam. Thank you. What we want to do out of respect, we want to hear from our President Mr. Barack General. Obama, who now is addressing the General Assembly. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to address you for the first time as the 44th President of the United States. I I come before you humbled by the responsibility that the American people have placed upon me, mindful of the enormous challenges of our moment in history, and determined to act boldly and collectively on behalf of justice and prosperity at home and abroad. I have been in office for just nine months, though some days it seems a lot longer. I am well aware of the expectations that accompany my presidency around the world. Now, these expectations are not about me. 